Hey everyone, I recently found this puzzle online with the caption that 99% of the people will get it wrong. So before I share with you my analysis, take a moment to pause the video to see which of these cups will fill up first. Okay, now that you have an answer, here's my interpretation. We'll have to assume two things. The first being that the flow rate of the water coming out of the tap is consistent throughout the experiment. Our second assumption is that the flow rate of the water leaving the cups through these tubes equals the flow rate flowing into the system. So with that being said, let's begin. Pretend we just turn on the faucet and the water is flowing into cup one. The water fills up this cup up until this first pipe. Notice that this pipe is lower than this one. So as the water is filling in, it will start to overflow into here. Remember, it cannot go past this point until everything here and here and here, hypothetically, is filled up because the flow rate going in is equal to the one going out. So as the water flows into three, you would think that it would flow down into four except that the pipe is closed. So if your answer was four, it's impossible because there's no pathway to four. Okay, so as that water flows into three, it fills up up until this point right here and it starts to flow into this pipe, except that it's also closed right there. What this means for us is that all of cup three will fill up before any of the other cups, even before one. Cups two, six, and seven never get a drop of this water. So were you one of the 99% that failed? If you disagree with my interpretation, make sure you leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.